Hi, I'm Matt Dwyer and today I'm going to show you how to play My Baby Left Me, which uh, was a tune that Elvis recorded on the Sun Sessions. Uh, Scotty Moore was the guitar player on those records and Scotty's one of my all-time favourite guitar players. Uh, the cool thing about this song is it's got three chords. It's got A, D and E. That's it. That's all there is to it. But we're playing the A up here. So we're doing that hammer on on the G string from the 5th fret to the 6th fret, which actually makes it an A7. But because Bill Black was playing on the double bass, we don't need to play the whole chord. Scotty didn't. The way Scotty played My Baby Left Me is actually played an A7 at the 5th fret and then an A major at the second fret. So from a, a seven, just to an A major. And that just is really effective right there. Now, it takes a while just to get comfortable with that little move there. But with practice, you'll get there. And then there was a rundown from the C sharp to the A, which was really cool. So you put those together and it came out like this. Once again, resolving on the A. So it's A7, A major, and then to an A string, an open note, a root note right there. Now that's a really cool riff just on its own. I, and I practice that over and over. Now when he goes to the four chord, it's just a simple D7. And what he's done there is, and then played an open high E string there. Scotty Moore did that a lot. And for the five chord, it's just an E7. The only riff there is, we play it with your little finger, it's G, E, D, B. So. I'll show you that again. The other two chords are the D. And he'd put in that G on top of the E. And then resolve to the A. It's one of the coolest sounds I've ever heard. It's one of my favorite songs. So I'll put that all together for you. Play that again just because it's fun. That's the rhythm part to My Baby Left Me by Elvis Presley with Scotty Moore on guitar. In another lesson, I'm going to show you the solo. Practice a lot and I'll see you soon.